Hello, it's Arit here. Welcome to another video on the Esatino Artist Channel where we help you simplify your marketing so you can amplify your results. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to change your channel keywords, what they actually do, how many of them to use, and how to actually go about choosing them. And I want you to stay till the end because I'll also share with you how you can get 90 days free access to the number one keyword tool for YouTubers. So let's get started. So first I'll show you how to actually go about changing your channel keywords. I'm right now logged into our YouTube channel in the channel dashboard. And on the left hand side, you'll want to go to where it says settings. You're going to go to channel and then under the basic info tab is where you'll be able to see your channel keywords. So you have 500 characters that you can play around with and to add a keyword, you can just start typing in your keyword, adding a keyword and then hit the comma sign and that's going to add the keyword in for you. So I'm just going to X out of this. Let's talk about quickly what these keywords actually do. So channel keywords is one of those things that adds more SEO juice. It helps with the searchability of your channel, but it's not going to make or break your searchability. And the reason why I say that is because there are other things that are more priority and more foundational to search engine optimization for your channel, like titles, like thumbnails and descriptions. So if you have those down for your videos, if your videos are very well optimized and let's say you didn't have any channel keywords or they were your keywords for your channel were crap, then it's it won't impact your videos themselves if they're very well optimized will still show up in the search but it just helps. Adding channel keywords basically informs YouTube's algorithm on the type of content that you produce. It categorizes your channel and helps YouTube determine what videos and channels to pull up in the suggested videos. And when I say long tail keyword phrases, that usually means about three or three words or more within any given phrase. You want to make sure that these keywords are relevant to your channel and they reflect the content that you produce. So if you are a drawing channel and you show videos of yourself drawing or sketching, then maybe one of those phrases that you should have as a channel keyword is how to draw. If you draw some sort of particular images, then maybe put how to draw animals if that's all that you produce. You can also add keyword phrases that reflect a particular type of content that you release on a weekly basis. So we produce Camtasia video editing tutorials. We produce tips for uh, creative entrepreneurs, creative business success. So that's why we put a variety of those channel keywords. And if you're not sure of what type of phrase to put, you can use a keyword tool like TubeBuddy, which I have installed here and I'll talk about TubeBuddy in a second, but you can go to the Keyword Explorer and then let's say you going with the drawing channel, how to draw, let's explore and see what other longer tail keywords that people search for that would be relevant to your channel. So I'm gonna go under common tags and then I'm gonna scroll, see all of these are shorter phrases. So I want, I'm looking for something that has longer or that is a longer phrase or with more words in it. So I'm just gonna scroll down, scroll down. So learn how to draw for beginners. That's a long tail keyword. It's got more than three words in it and it's very relevant to my channel, to the demo channel that we're talking about here. So I would put one of those as my channel keywords. I could put also drawing tutorials for beginners um, or learn to draw beginners. So you can use a tool like this to find those keyword phrases because this is telling you what people are searching for. You don't have to worry about what doesn't have too much competition. Just go for phrases that are highly searched because it's going to be more important for you to optimize each specific video with keywords that are highly searched and low competition. You don't have to worry about that for your channel keywords. If you've been around for a while and people are finding your videos, then you may want to consider putting your own channel name as one of your channel keywords because people might actually be searching for that. 
If you're a brand new channel, then people aren't likely searching for your channel name. So instead use that space, those seven to 10 channel keywords, use the space for something like this, like these phrases that are already highly searched and they're relevant to the content that you produce. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to optimize your videos for the search engines, we have a full course called the YouTube SEO Simplified System that helps you rank higher in the search engines. So it will help you easily find the keywords that your specific channel can rank for. You'll be able to know how to create compelling titles that actually get clicked on, writing effective video descriptions, and in general, attracting new videos daily because your videos are ranking higher. So with this program, you'll get access to a bunch of different things. It's an online video course that you could take at your own time. We also have a few other things for you like a checklist so that you can work through the checklist to make sure that you've completed every single step. And it is a step-by-step a step program on how to optimize every single video for your channel. Uh, we also have examples. So these demo replays, you'll watch over my shoulder as I optimize each video for the search engine so you can just follow along. And this is what I mentioned in the beginning of this video is you do get free access to a tool called TubeBuddy. And TubeBuddy is currently the number one keyword tool for YouTubers right now or number one YouTube management tool. It does a bunch of other things as well. but. We've arranged to give you 90 days free access to the legend license, which is the top tier for this tool. I use it religiously. I've used it for years and I very much stand by it. We use the keyword research tool all the time and have ranked our videos higher in the search engine because of this. But knowing how to use it correctly is the key here. No pun intended. So you get access to TubeBuddy for free and a few other things as well that will help you grow, including our exclusive Facebook group so that you can ask questions and get unstuck at any point regarding YouTube SEO. So right now this whole system is $47. It's worth way more, uh, but we have a special pricing right now for our YouTube viewers. The link is in the description below if you wanna check this out and it's gonna really help improve your searchability for your channel as a whole. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.